Hi YouTube, this is Bonnie with Old Soul Mermaid with, uh, I think this would be part five of my deck collection. And today it's, um, I'm going to be showing you my pip decks. Uh, normally I'm, I like fully illustrated decks, but um, I'm trying to branch out. So there's not very many decks here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, just to show you. And some of them I have shown you. I've done unboxings for uh, a couple of them. So with that in mind, let's go over the first one. And the first one I have is the Tarot, the Marseille Arcana. Brand new edition from the original deck, new illustrations of the ancient tarot, instructions and history included. Now this little deck I have not used because I have, it's a Marseille deck. I haven't ventured into reading um, Marseille decks, but I got this one so that when I'm ready, I will have something to venture with. Now I picked this deck up at my local half price books if you have that chain in your state. That's a great place to pick up. Um, I found a lot of great used decks in like brand new condition and one I'll be showing you at some point that's still in the cards. The outer package has been out of the cellophane but the cards are still wrapped. <laughs> So this little deck was $7.99 at my local half price books. And it's the same front and back. You can see the side cover. So because it is a little tuck box. And I got this recently. I haven't tried to read with it or anything. I just I just picked it up at um Half price books with their 20% off sale, uh, President's Day sale that they had over the weekend. So this was a nice find. So it comes with a little white book, brand new edition, you know, just major, uh, just basic readings. And I'm trying to look to see if it has any spreads. I haven't even really looked at it. I just got it this weekend. So it's a new one for all of us. So look, they're not in order interesting so you can see we'll go through a few of these strength justice oh and here are the backs the backs are quite pretty actually um cardstock is very good it's more um super matte papery but strong uh it's not it's not flimsy at all um there's no gloss whatsoever on the on these cards so this is a, it's really good paper quality for a $7.99 $7.99 deck which it was cheaper actually because I got 20% off so these are more traditional Marseille depictions um little I would say a little more cartoony. They're not fancy and elegant and lush like some other decks, some other Marseille decks are. But for me, um, I know this isn't this isn't going to be my main way of reading. I would like to learn, you know, and get adept. Maybe I might change my mind. You know, maybe I might be converted to the Marseille system. But I kind of doubt it because I get my intuitive hips hits from fully illustrated uh, cards and when it gets to the um, I'm gonna look through these the majors really 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 quick and so we can take it's kind of going backwards yeah so okay so here are the the pips yeah um, I like pips that have some illustration to them, you know, some, I don't have the deck yet. It is on my wish list, but the Pagan Otherworlds, it is a pip deck, 
but it has some of the RWS symbology in it. So it's not purely, you know, just the, um, just the pips. So, but there's the Knight of Batons. But this is something I, I thought that I should have in my collection, and it's my one and only Marseille deck. It's, you know, why go to the expenditure of paying a lot of money if it might not be a system that I like reading with. But I thought I'd have one, $7.99 plus um, 20% off is a steal. And it's very good paper quality for that price. And the deck, the backs are nice. It comes with a little white book. And um, yeah, I thought it was a very minimal investment for you know something I'm not sure that I'm going to like. So that was. The Marseille Arcana. The next one I'm going to go with, and I don't think I've done an unboxing or anything of this deck because I got it a long time before I started my channel, and there are a lot of unboxings of this deck, but it is the Field Tarot, and it comes in a very nice box, thumb cutouts, and it comes with a nice, oh, there's the back of the box does come with a, a little guidebook. Um, very minimal uh, meanings, there's keywords. It's not very, uh, it's not very beefy, but it gives you, you know, the gist uh, of this, of, of what all the cards mean. I'm trying to look, I don't remember if there's any spreads in this book. Oh, I think I did just pass just, yeah, a single card, a three card, and the Celtic cross. Is there anything else? Oh, the field spread. Yes, it comes with the field spread. But this deck is, um, I think, very visually stunning. And those are the backs. Very minimalistic, but it's pretty. And the cardstock is wonderful, very matte, very rose color finish. Um, but let's see if we can get to some of the. Uh, they tend to stick together. I have not, full disclosure, I have not read with this deck a lot. I played around with it a little bit when I got it, but. Um, there's been other <laughs> other decks that, uh, you know, went straight to the top of the list as soon as I got it. And because, it, you know, it's a pip deck, and like I said, I, I like fully illustrated decks. That's, that is my preference. But, um, let's see, here we go. There's a Four of Swords. They are very beautiful very very beautiful and this is the kind of pip deck i would like to read as opposed to the marseille that you know simple marseille one um it does give you you know a little bit that's the the, the writer weight smith depiction minus the people um i love the color palette of this of this deck It is, I, yeah, there's the Eight of Swords. They, it does give you keywords. So the Eight of Swords, isolation. That's not quite how I would read with it, but um, this is a fabulous death card. I really love the majors in this card though. Let's see, see, there's two of wands. They have planning. So they are quite pretty. It, it's, it's not like it's, you know, just um, the uh, suits on white. So that's why, you know, it's kind of color, uh, 
collage -y. and uh, this is one that I would totally totally it's one that I well I'm gonna preface to say that I have been working with the Way Home Tarot and that's a pip deck too that is I'm gonna be showing but do you see it's like you don't get nothing you do get a little something and a keyword in the pips, and that's why I got this, so I could become more adept at reading with, with pip cards. But this is a fabulous, beautiful deck. There are, you know, some males, but of course there's, a, I would say, a lot more feminine energy in this deck. And that, oh, okay, there's a deer. How could you not love deck with a deer in it? Bambi, Innocent, Six of Cups. So, let's see if I could get to Ace of Discs for Wealth. Two of Discs, Change. So, do you see, it's not like getting nothing. So, that's why I got this. Knowing full well it was a pip deck, but they, they, uh, um, the illustrations, the artwork, the color palette, um, yeah, made me cape. Even though I knew it was a pip deck, it is a beautiful deck. And um, I plan to be reading with this more. And that is the Field Tarot. By Hannah Elizabeth Fofana. And I got this off of Etsy. I do not know if it's still available on Etsy. Um, I at the time I bought it they say it was I think there was only three decks left but sometimes when they do that they then you you buy the last deck and then there's ten more decks to buy so um, I, I I haven't checked to be honest if it's available mine came a little dinged up I wasn't happy about it but you know that's the way it is it isn't bad and it's a beautiful, beautiful deck and box. All right, off to the next one. I'm gonna put that one over here. The next one is, and I have done a full unboxing of this deck when I got it. It's on my channel. It is the Vendor deck. And this is, I wanna say Pippish. That's why it's in here. Yes. Again, like the field tarot, it um, it doesn't just give you nothing. Just the you know the suits and the, you know the swords or the discs. It gives you a little something else. Again, I bought this to become. I was just. I was just. When I saw this on Kickstarter, I was very very intrigued and enthralled with the minimalistic um, aesthetic and again see you pip but you don't get nothing and that's why I'm drawn to these sort of pip decks other than the you know instead of Marseille because you do get something something to help you along in a reading that's a knight, by the way, knight of wands. Just different, just, I love this Wheel of Fortune. And there's a lot of unboxings, including on my channel, of this deck. Um, the cardstock is rose petal. Um, it's edged in yellow. And you can still get this deck. Um, You can definitely still get this deck off Etsy, I believe. And these are the wonderful backs. But when you, I don't know if you, now that the Kickstarter's over, if you buy it somewhere else. And I think Phoenix, it's available on the Phoenix Lotus website. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think it might be. But of course, there's the beautiful deck and the wonderful, wonderful guidebook. 
um, not colored illustrated, but I love the meanings, how it's written in this book. Um, it goes over all the suits. I'm trying to remember if there's any spreads in here. It gives you the um, astrological correlations with the majors, numerology, the Eden Gray's Celtic Cross, three card spread, single card draw, talking about reversals. And this, the book itself is a rose petal finish and the cards and the book, you know, if you're, if you have the indie versions of the Muse or Lightseer's Tarot or the um, Dark Mansions Tarot, that's what, what it's like, very similar. Beautiful, beautiful deck and it came with a little canvas bag so, yes, this is the Bender deck. Would highly, highly recommend. And look at that nice little stripe top and bottom of the deck. And I am putting it in the wrong place. Let me see if a nice design. Minimalistic. Um, and maybe that's why I bought it. Um, it was minimalistic, but very, very captivating. And like I said, I gravitate towards, you know, head on, fully, even busy decks um, because I can get a lot different meanings and different situations. And this is to test me and to get up to speed when maybe I wouldn't have those kind of decks available to me, you know, in a, any given situation. So that's why I got it to learn to read with the pips. Now this one, Le Beaumont, uh, this is by uh, Jennifer Poole, Swing and Sparrow as she's known on uh, Instagram. It's a Regency deck. It is um, based on the early 1800s uh, Regency era and again the now this one is a little more stark with its pips. So you get reticules, candles, reticules, candles, parasols, gloves as the suits. And if you can see, these are very, very just, it's just the pips. But I got it because I love the cream color background and I love the uh, female energy. It's all females, all females. And I believe the, dep the depictions, the pictures were taken from uh, well, it says Le Beaumont is a lady-centric Regency tarot deck based on the archetypes in romance novels, Dow Dowager, Duchess, Blue Stocking, and Debutante. So the debutante would be the um, page, blue stocking, the knight, the duchess, the queen, and the dowager would be like the equivalent of the, of the king. But this card, I, I've read with this quite a bit and what I will say, it is very good for love readings and relationship readings. Do you see? It's very, very plain in the... Um, in the uh, pips, but the pips themselves are beautiful. And the cardstock is, is buttery smooth. Not quite as thick as the Vinder deck, but rose petal, and look at those beautiful backs. And I love that they're cream and antique kind of tea stained. But see, you just get, you know, the pips, uh, the the suits, the candles, the and uh, the gloves and the parasols. So this one does, when I've read with it, you know, I've had to, I do have to stop and think and go, okay, 10 of parasols. So 
that's why I got the deck and I have read with this one and it even though it makes it makes me my brain work a little harder it does fantastic readings especially for relationships love uh, partnerships even um, surprisingly enough business partnerships um, so look at how beautiful these are these are just gorgeous. So that is Le Beaumont Tarot by Jennifer Poole. I believe she has a website. Um, I picked this up at a local bookstore, a women's bookstore, Bookwoman in Austin. Um, so if you're in Austin, you may check there. I have a couple of these. I bought them at the same time because this is... I. I'm into Regency literature and novels and Jane Austen and all of that. So, um, and by the way, did you know that there's a new Emma movie coming out? At, I think it's going to be released Friday, Saturday. I don't know. When's the 21st? <laughs> anyway, I think this week. Um, where are we? We're at the 18th. Okay, so in a few days. So the, yeah, there's a new, if you're a Jane Austen fan, there's a new Emma movie coming out. All right, so that's Le Beau Montero, Pip Deck. Beautiful. Buy it. <laughs> if, if it's in your wheelhouse. And I just did a full-blown unboxing of this, the OK Tarot, The Simple Deck for Everyone by Adam J. Kurtz. I know he has some books. You can get this off of Amazon. I actually picked this up at my local Urban Outfitters when I was looking for the Everyday Tarot, which is the Mass Market Circo Tarot. But I, I just recently, there's a full walkthrough of this deck. But you see, just the pips. Very simple. These are like drawings. I'm very unartistic as far as my drawing. Um, and these are the kind of drawings I could do. But I was so drawn to it because it's pink and there's nothing on the back. It's just pink and it's, you know, it's pink. So it could be good for a beginner, but probably not. It depends. You know, maybe some people can learn with the pips right away. And like I said, I need a little more imagery. But... I can, I can, I haven't read a lot with this deck. I've played around with it. And because it is so stark, it does make me work a little bit. And even more so, it makes me work more than the Le Beaumont. But again, it's one of my goals to become proficient with reading with just a pip deck. And I don't know if that's going to... Transfer to the Marseille deck, I have no idea, but like I said, I have one just in case to learn, to see how it uh, flows with me. But as you can see, yes, very simple. You can see a full unboxing on my channel. So this is readily available. Um, it's, it's Amazon and... Uh, Urban Outfitters. I believe they still have it on their site, and even if it's not on their site, you will still find it in their little tarot collections in their store. Um, Amazon and, and Urban Outfitters are both controversial <laughs> retailers, as I mentioned in uh, my unboxing of this deck. And it, this is like, I bought this went in for the other deck, found this one also, and that was the second time I, second time in my life I've been in Urban Outfitters because I'm not, I don't jive with their business practices, but you know, when tarot's involved, you get it where you can get it. And I know a lot of people don't, are against Amazon too, and I have mixed feelings about them as well. Okay, the last one is The Way Home Tarot by Bacaro Wintour and Autumn Whitehurst. And the only, there's no cutouts on the box, so you gotta, you know. 
but it is a beautiful box. I love the two-tone pastel, the stars on the sides, and I have not done an unboxing of this. There are lots of them um, on YouTube, so that's why I haven't done one. I tend to do unboxings of, um, you know, newer things, Kickstarters that I that I get or something that's newer on the market that there's not 50 videos of but you know um I have read with this one quite a bit and you can see it is a pip deck there are no humans depicted except for the court cards and they are in silhouette and the cardstock these are coated with some kind of plastic they're um like a very very low gloss I would say a very good cardstock easy for you riffle shufflers but you see how it's a pip deck but again you don't just get the pips I need a little something the two of cups isn't that beautiful the jellyfish and so yes no people except in the cords and it's just silhouette and this is a very, 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 very powerful deck. Love that emperor. Um, and even though it's a pip deck and there's no people in it, I had an easy time reading with this deck. There's just something about this deck that really resonated with me. And I've done all types of readings with this deck. It just kind of hits you in the, in the gut, some of these, um, the, the artwork. Very simple and minimalistic, but then some of them are just pow. So this is a very well-known deck. You can get it off um, Bacara's uh, storefront, online storefront, uh, everydaymagic.com. And I believe these were going to go out to wholesale. So somebody like maybe phoenixlotus.com would have this. I know her, her postcards from the Luminal Space um, Oracle deck has also gone to wholesale. So you may start finding this more than just on uh, Bacara's uh, Everyday Magic uh, website which is where I got this from, but I love the cardstock. It is a little bit slippy, um, but this is a pip deck. I, I was able to read with it right away. Don't have to work. I really don't have to work like I do um, a little bit with some of the other ones, but it's good. It's a challenge and it's good and it's a challenge that I well welcome. So that was The Way Home Tarot by Bacara Wintour. And those are my the pip decks in my collection. And this is uh, video five of my collection. There are more to come. <laughs> and I think I might film another one just in a few minutes. Now, um, I'm a very new channel. And if you found any value to this video, or enjoyment, uh, please hit the notification button, subscribe, like. I would very much appreciate it. I'm a very small channel, and if I appreciate every single one of my subscribers because I know um, YouTube is inundated with unboxing and, and deck reviews, uh, deck review videos, and I know your time is precious and the fact that you took a few minutes or half an hour <laughs> or 45 minutes as some of my videos are to, to watch my video it means the world to me and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So I wish you all have a blessed day and until the next video. Bye-bye.